Hello, and welcome back to the Pain Cave. My name is Monty, and I make videos for overweight cyclists and those of you who are uh, just getting into the sport or coming back to it. Um, today, we are going to do a workout. I forgot what workout it is. Oh man, I hope you are having a great week. And let's warm up. Welcome back to the magical world of Zwift. Today we're doing Fitness Builder, and this is a workout in three different training zones. We'll be doing some threshold work, which is right at FTP, right around FTP. Some VO2, which is slightly above FTP, and that's, uh, well, 110%. And then anaerobic, which is 120% of FTP. So, yeah, I'm probably gonna get my socks knocked off a little bit. So I made some adjustments, ended up raising my saddle up a little bit because it was not comfortable riding my bike. And uh, I got a bike fit coming up, and of course I'm gonna do a video on that for you all. So stay tuned for that. I'll check in with you guys after I get warmed up. This warm up was a little different than the previous warm up. So it was divided out into individual sections as opposed to just being a ramped warm up. So wasn't really expecting that. So the first couple of segments that we have in the workout, it's gonna require me to make quick adjustments. So I guess I should shut up and focus on that. While 30 seconds doesn't seem like a lot of time, at 205 watts, which is 120% of FTP, yeah, those 30 seconds really suck. And particularly after our warm up. At this point, I'm starting to feel pretty significant burn in the legs, but in this recovery, most of that burning went away. So now we're at 110% of FTP. And of course, these are shorter efforts, so not too challenging, but there's three of them. These two minute efforts are definitely getting a little more challenging. That was, uh, I can't say it was fun. Nope. We're working on threshold VO2 and anaerobic power in this workout. When the workout started out, I thought that the 205 was uh, not too challenging. And then we dropped down to 185, but of course the time increased. And now as we're heading into 195 for one minute, my legs are feeling fair, but looking at the bottom, I'm like, I don't know if, uh, I don't know if I still got enough to finish this. I'm definitely not super stoked about this last set. Looks like six intervals of 120% uh, of FTP. I really struggled to maintain focus while doing this segment of the workout. And again, not because it's like huge power numbers, even though it definitely is big power numbers for me now. Um, man, I just really had to keep telling myself it's only 30 seconds, it's only 30 seconds. 
And when I get to that recovery for 30 seconds, I tell myself, we got a whole 30 seconds to recover. a lot but it wasn't the worst and well we made it through all four and a half miles of suffering most of the discomfort in my face is coming from my fit or lack thereof so it's recommended that you do a bike fit um whenever you have big changes in weight or fitness or annually so um, once i first got this bike dialed in you couldn't keep me off of it and now, like 45 minutes, that's all I can do. And even with the little tweak that I made, while it's more comfortable than it has been since we started the program, it's not there. Looking forward to getting some help and uh, sharing that with you guys so you can see um, what a bike fit can do for you and uh, what all it entails. I'm gonna have a little date night with my lady tonight. If you enjoyed this video, if you got something from it, and if you're enjoying watching me suffer here on Zwift, and soon to be outside, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next video.